So, making the toroid. Now, what I used was a bit of um, vacuum cleaner hose. As it happens, uh, I had an old vacuum cleaner in the garage. And my son raised a good point, actually. He said, uh, who is it who has all this stuff just kicking around? Well, me. Um, but if you don't have it kicking around, you can buy these things relatively cheaply and relatively easily. Uh, vacuum cleaner hose, you can get it in any hardware store or do-it-yourself store. Uh, you get it in a standard size. Uh, you can use other hoses, uh, and they go up to about four or six inches if you really want. The one I've used, I'm not really sure how big it is actually, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's about 45, cent uh, 45 millimeters in diameter. Uh, and that's it. As it happens, it's from an old Dyson. Now, what I did, this is the section left, what I did was um, measure round the bit of piping before the 110 millimeter piping, measured round it, it's wire, so I snipped it off and trimmed it with a trimming knife. Bent it round, a bit of super glue on this edge here, pop it in, leave it to set. Then what I did was, with an extra bit of pipe, bent it into its toroid form and slid it on the pipe so that it took the toroid shape. It made quite a sort of flexible toroid, and it's obviously very ridged because of the um, coil, the plastic surrounding coil that it has. And I wanted a smooth surface, um, so I have some of this stuff. It's called C-Mix, and it's a builder's polyester. What they use it for is um, fixing bolts. You drill a big hole in the wall, pop your bolt in, squeeze this in, and then um, when it's set, the bolt is rock solid. It's a, it's a strange stuff actually. It's, as I say, a polyester resin and it, and it seems to have, sorry this light is going, let's, there you go. It's polyester mix and it seems to have sand in it. Um, quite sticky, quite flexible, sticks just about any surface, easy to use, unscrew the, unscrew the tap, screw on the mixing nozzle, put it in a um, gun, squeeze it and it, it'll fill out. So what I did was um, just get one of those and squeeze it in all the ridges. And that's what we have. The mix has been squeezed in the ridges and then sanded flat. It seems to stay sticky quite a long time and has a kind of flexibility to it. The only thing left to do with this really now I've sanded it is metalise it. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but let's give it a go. Okay, so here it is metalised. Okay. Now what I did was uh, I did it in two layers. There's an outer layer and an inner layer. And I cut uh, strips of this stuff. This is aluminium ducting tape. Uh, easy to get if you're in America. You can just go down to Home Depot and buy it. In the UK, you've got to go to a builder's merchant. Um, but they sell it in various length rolls. This particular roll is uh, 10 centimeters. You can get it at six centimeters. Um, now the radius of curvature of the inside and the outside is so, the difference is so great that if you try to do it as one strip all the way around, what you're going to get is uncontrollable kinking. Um, so I did it in two strips, one strip on the outside, one strip on the inside. It takes a bit of time, but it's worth doing it, it's worth taking your time. The outside strips are about one and a half centimetres to two centimetres, and you just overlay them. The inside strips are one centimetre or less. Um, the big tendency to drift if you try to um, go one after the other. So what I do is I do one strip, quarter of the way around strip, divide it to eighth, one strip, sixteenth, one strip, and so on until you've filled the whole area. Uh, I spent quite a lot of time burnishing it. Uh, I used an eight millimeter piece of steel rod and just rubbed it. And then I took the Dremel tool with a polishing pad in it and went over the polishing pad. And it seems to have done quite a nice job, really. And there it is in place. So we've um, finished the basic structure of it. Again, there's the base unit, which you made as one piece, the tower, which is another piece, the upstands to allow you to adjust the tower, the gazing ball, which is going to be our head, and there's the toroid in place now. Just sitting there nicely. The toroid obviously is something that I wanted for this, but uh, it would be quite easy to adapt it if you wanted for a Tesla coil. Uh, what you'd probably do is cut a disc out of builder's board plastic, put your hose around the disc, and then overlay the resin. You could use um, car body filler, which is you can get from Halfords. Uh, easier to sand than this stuff, 
but pretty dusty. So if you do use cow body filler, give it a coat of something after you've done that, a like varnish or emulsion paint, just something that's going to um, stop the dust. Otherwise you'll find that your aluminium tape just won't stick to it. But again, you can use it quite happily for this, or as I say, a Tesla coil it will work on quite nicely.